Three. Hey y'all, it's Betsy. So today I figured I'd do another top five list and today we're going to go over my top five favorite foundations. And there's a little bit of everything in here. And because I'm on camera, I use several different foundations a lot of days and this list has changed frequently. Um, kind of depends on the time of year and what kind of mood I'm in. But these are the ones that I use most frequently and that I absolutely love. So number one is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Foundation. It is a medium foundation. It's actually what I'm wearing today. I love a good matte foundation on camera. It looks great. This smells really good. Um, the shade range is cruddy, but I love, love, love this foundation. As you can see, I have almost used up the entire bottle of it, but this one is really, really good. For a matte finish, medium coverage, you can build it up. Um, number two, this is one of my favorites as well. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. And as you can see, there's not a whole lot left of it. This is a great full coverage foundation if I'm taking a lot of pictures and I'm not planning on being outside because this can feel really heavy on my skin whenever I'm outdoors. This is a great foundation. I have issues on days though where I have, when I have drier skin, this wanting to settle into my lines, but it looks beautiful on camera and photographs so well. And it is one of my number one foundations. It's just some days it doesn't want to agree with my skin. Number three, and you've heard me talk about this one several times. I've bought several bottles of this. This is a great all around foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige. Great foundation, smells like paint thinner, but I can always guarantee you that this one's going to work. And whether it's winter skin, summer skin, this is a great foundation. And especially for the price. You can build it up to be a full coverage foundation. It is $6 at the drugstore. This is a really good option. Now, one of my newer foundations, well actually the last two are some of my newer foundations. This is the CoverGirl Healthy Vitalist Elixir Foundation. It is absolutely beautiful on the days where my skin feels parched. It doesn't want to settle into my lines. The only issue that I have with this foundation is the shade range is cruddy and I can't find an exact match. As you can see, this in the bottle, most of my foundations are a little bit more yellow tone, warm tone. This has more of a rosy hue. So it takes a little bit more work to get it to work on my skin, but it just gives you that natural, healthy looking skin. It's great for wearing outdoors. It's not too heavy. I love what this does on my skin. And another one that I have really liked lately is the Rimmel 24, 25 hour. Why do they put 25 hour instead of 24 hour? there's not 25 hours in a day. And most people actually wash their makeup off when they go to bed. They don't wear it for 24 hours. Typically at the longest I wear my makeup is like 15 hours. And most of the time, not even that much. If you've come into my store, most mornings, I don't put on makeup till around four-ish because I get more stuff, more important things to do. I don't typically put on makeup until I'm filming or unless I'm going somewhere because I don't want to scare anyone with these dark circles. But this has a beautiful finish. It is a medium coverage foundation. And especially during the summers around here, I don't want a full, thick, heavy foundation most days. I want something where my skin will breathe to keep me from breaking out. Um, and this is a beautiful, beautiful foundation. It also has sunscreen in it, which for Southeast Texas, when, you know, you got high index UV rays, this is a great foundation. Um, and as you can see, I have a typical medium, light medium olive complexion. Um, these foundations work great for my skin, which my skin is normal most days. 
There are a lot of days though that I wake up as I've gotten older where it is dry. I have had to change, especially during the summer months, which typically I used to get oilier during the summer. Now I'm getting dry. So I can't like bake under my eyes whenever it's this dry because then it just looks like tissue paper balled up under my eyes. But these are foundations that I like the way that they look, the way that they lay. They do beautiful things to my skin. But other than that, I think that's it. So don't forget to check me out on all my social medias, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you hit the little subscribe button down below that with the bell notification icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos. Other than that, I think that's it. So thanks and y'all have a great day.